first time the Sharks see the business is when the doors open. So what happens after the pitch? Immediately, the entrepreneurs go and meet with a psychologist. So they get a debrief um, with the psychologist. Typically, it takes 10 minutes, but it, I've seen it take up to an hour. We, you know, if you get called a cockroach, you know, many times by Mr. Wonderful, it can obviously probably take a toll on the psyche. Right after they meet with a psychologist, that's when I get to go meet with the entrepreneur. So during the entire pitch, I've been sitting behind the scenes with the other sharks, essentially, right? Every shark has has a role similar to mine, and I will go meet with the entrepreneurs. What's up, guys? This is Saban from Cousins Made Lobster. I want to talk about Mike Stevens and just seeing what a fantastic person he is, what a great partner he is, and uh, what a breath of fresh air when it comes to business. Mike Stevens is one of the smartest businessmen we know. We love working with Mike. Matter of fact, he has helped Grayson Lace explode. Every single time I call Mike, he's got answers like that. We're right on time. Yes, we are. Jeff and Jen's business is growing so fast and bursting at the seams. So Mike and I are going to meet with them today. He is my main guy in all the Shark Tank business. He knows everything that the entrepreneurs are doing. Jen. Hey. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Good to see you. And that's when we start our due diligence process, which kicks off about a four to six month process of digging into the business and trying to learn more about it. And okay, is this an investment decision we really want to make? It's all about the entrepreneur, very entrepreneur centric. So we are, we bet on the jockey, not the horse. We're not looking for the next best idea. We're looking for the greatness in an entrepreneur. Inevitably, if you're going to put 150, 250, 500 thousand dollars into a company, you're a minority investor. You're not there day to day, boots on the ground. So you have to have some faith in them to run their business, right, and make a return for you. How can you make a decision on a company when you've only talked to them for 45 minutes? I've had the opportunity sitting behind the scenes to see hundreds of pitches. The sharks have seen hundreds of pitches. We know what works. Our greatest investments and our best entrepreneurs. It all comes down to a certain criteria, a certain set of characteristics that have proven to be most successful for us. You know, what are the key, key traits of a successful entrepreneur? Every successful entrepreneur has street smarts. Um, if you've got a problem, are you able to fix it? It's two minutes to craft your own narrative. You need to take the opportunity to get this in front of everyone, in front of those eight million eyes. Every successful entrepreneur knows how to sell. I told, I was telling you, you know, pitches take anywhere from 45 minutes to, to an hour and a half. Can you learn a lot about a business in that time? You can't learn everything, right? But what you can learn are the entrepreneur great salespeople because that's exactly what they're doing when they're coming on set it's a sales pitch to, to the sharks what goes wrong with businesses inevitably you know when you're you're making an investment decision you're trusting the entrepreneur and you're trusting that they can execute you get some wrong it's not a matter of if it's when you're going to face a challenge or hurdle in business and it's how you're going to bounce back from it are you going to let it keep you down or are you going to jump right up when you know you hit a hurdle or you hit a rough patch if you start feeling bad for yourself and woe is me and blaming it on someone else that's when we know in office that we shouldn't deal with you anymore. We found in our portfolio the two indicators of success, amazing entrepreneurs, partnerships. All of our best deals, all of our best investments, partnerships, cousins, Grace and Lace, Comfy, Pip Snacks, list goes on and on and on, all partnerships. I think it's exceedingly rare to find an entrepreneur with all of the traits of a successful entrepreneur, of great entrepreneurs. But when you get a partnership, you have entrepreneurs with complementary skill sets. You have a much larger partnership that you can leverage which is this family. The power of your partnership is strong. The power of everyone is exponentially more powerful.